Hey what's up guys, it's Mirage again with our second tutorial of this week. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to create an animated user bar. So what user bar is, is people use it on forums to pull on their signatures um, to, get, to tell them things that they use. So for example today we're going to create a Photoshop user user bar and we're going to make it animated. So when it shows up, it shows up as a GIF image and you can see um, a logo going up and down, left and right, or however you want to make it. So we have the Photoshop logo here moving up and down and on the right we have a uh, Photoshop user. The background is a simple light to dark blue gradient and there's a gloss with few scan lines going diagonally. So that's what's inside the user bar itself. It's pretty simple and easy to create, so let's get started. You want to start by going to File, New, and opening a new document. Make the height 19 pixels and the width 350. Once you have that, I'm going to close this. Okay, so once you have that, right click the background layer and click layer from background. Now choose color from the logo. I'm going to go with this light blue and this darkish blue. And then go back to my um, user bar document. Right click the layer and click blending options. Choose gradient overlay and click the black to white uh, gradient over whichever gradient you have presetted. Choose the first preset because that's what it's going to choose from our uh, two dialog boxes and press OK. We want to have the light on the top and the dark on the bottom, so we're going to click reverse and we're going to put the scale up all the way. You can move it up and down to see how dark you want it or how light you want it. I'm, I like to have it just in between, so I'm going to keep it like that. And press OK. Now we want to create the gloss over this. So create a new layer, and now we're going to color white. So tr click your foreground color, make it white, and just uh, paint bucket over it. Choose the elliptical uh, marquee tool, selection tool, whatever you call it, and go from one corner to the other and create an arc over your uh, user bar. I'm actually going to use uh, a smaller arc. And then right click and click select inverse. Now press delete on your keyboard and now and deselect. Right click and click deselect. Now only this part of white should be visible. So when you lower the opacity, you can see that it creates a really nice gloss effect for you. You can lower the opacity to your liking, but I like to keep it pretty low. So I'm going to keep it around 12, 10%. That's good. We'll go back to layer one, and now we're going to create our text. Now, if you're running on PC, there's a default font available for PC users called Terminal, and that's that's like a standard type of uh, font people use for the user bars. So, anything that looks like Terminal would work. Uh, it's basically your preference, but that's what a standard user bar looks like. I mean, standard user bar text looks like. And now for scan lines. To create scan lines, you want to go to File, New, and create a document that's 3 pixels wide and 3 pixels high. Press OK. Zoom up all the way. 
unhide the back I mean hide the background but first you have to create a new layer and then hide the background in the new layer you want to right click the brush tool and click pencil choose your black as your background color and hover over the uh, your document you want to create three diagonal squares like this and once you have that go to edit define pattern you can call this whatever you want but I'm just going to call this scan lines and then press OK go back to your user bar document and now we're going to create a new layer above everything right click the stamp tool and click pattern stamp tool you want to create this drop down and create the and click on the scan lines we just created now just color over your uh, user bar and lower the opacity put on soft light actually you can put on soft light or you can put on overlay but I normally like soft light better and just lower your opacity and keep it around 30 percent now you want to drag your logo into your document so click and drag and make sure it high it's under your gloss and your scan lines press ctrl T on your keyboard to enable free transform or go to edit free transform hold shift and resize your image so it may resize with proportions once you have your logo resized make it so that it's face down so the only you can see only the top of the logo now you want to go to window and animation if you don't have the if you don't see this window correctly or you may see something like this so to fix the problem just go back over on the right corner and click the uh, icon with thumbnails and it will give you thumbnails it's easier to view this way click the 10 seconds and make it 0.1 second now create a new layer within the animation frames and this will create a new frame in the new frame you want the logo to move up so with uh, holding your arrow keys on your keyboard move your logo up So now the second frame will show the bottom of the logo. Go back to your first frame and create motion tween. Actually create a new layer first. Take the new layer and put it at the end. Set this to no delay and then go back to your first frame. Create a motion tween for about 10 frames because point, we have 0.1 seconds and then press OK. Once again go to layer 12 now and press motion tween and make it under 10 frames. On the bottom left click the arrow and make it forever that way it will repeat the animation forever. Go back to frame 1 and press play to test it out. It looks good so now we want to save it. Animations only work in GIF extensions. So instead of saving it as like this, the animations won't work. So you want to go to File and you want to click Save for Web and Devices. Next, on the top right, on the drop down menu, you want to create, I mean, uh, click GIF. To test out your animation one more time, just press pre on the lower right and press and test it out. Make sure that the looping is set forever, that way it repeats.
Once you are satisfied, click Save and save your document.